Good Minecraft morning everybody and welcome back to another Adults Play Minecraft SMP video with your host Zeba. Today we're going to be looking around at some new base improvements as well as building a really awesome windmill. So it's going to be sweet. So thank you guys again for sticking around and we'll see you in a second. past few weeks we have been uh, just toying around off camera playing around with some uh, different designs and uh, rebuilding some of our base actually uh, just to kind of make it look a little nicer so we'll, I'll just do a little quick walk through what we've got here we put up the perimeter a little bit uh, just to keep some of the bad guys out they could still walk right through here but it just deters them a little bit I think and so we did lay down some of this pathing here just to kind of make it feel a little bit more like home and we started off uh, building some paths in this direction for different things here. So we haven't done too much inside the base area. I did clear out some of this. We're gonna move our bed. I've been cleaning out some of this storage unit, took down some of these boxes and things, and we're going to clear all this out and start making these into more like uh, rooms. Uh, and we're gonna move our fishing area to somewhere where it actually works and benefits us a little bit better. So this is gonna be converted quite a bit. We did remove the stairs from here and we put, or I'm sorry, the ladder from here and we put in some stairs. And so this feels a whole lot nicer. It really makes this area feel a little more, more connected than it did before. And I'm using this little area to sneak out so that that villager doesn't sneak through there. He can't fit, I don't know why, but he can't fit. I have not done anything with this area and I will get to that eventually. Um, but right now we have again we built up this wall we built the stairs stairwell over here and just cleared out some of this path so it makes it feel a little bit better in that regard and I'm going to be putting a handful of these little shops over here so that I can have some of my villagers who are going to be offering trades and things but this guy I don't know what his problem is he will not choose a profession. I've laid down every profession block over here. Other people have chosen them. I waited for everyone else to have a job, but he won't take one. So I might have to move him, uh, just make him roam about or something like that. So we have extended this path over this way. Again, just making our base look a little nicer. And what we're going to be working on next is a windmill, basically, that's going to help pump some water into our farms. It's going to look pretty neat. I'm going to put it right up on top over there. So let's get started with that. Okay, I'm pretty certain I have everything I need in this box right here. That should be everything that I'm gonna use for this build. So let's go ahead and toss my armor back on and we'll toss that in my hand there just to be safe, who knows. And we will start this project. So what we need, move some of this stuff around so I have plenty of space to work with what I've got. There we go, we'll, we'll use that. We're gonna start off with a cut sandstone base and then we're going to put some walls around it and also going to start off with some birch and after that birch we're going to need some of this stuff real soon and some of the stairs real soon so let's get started with that so we're going to make this base right over in this area and i'm just going to i've already kind of laid down a little bit of design structure there and so we're going to toss that down there like so and I think, I can't remember how I did this. Maybe I actually did that first. No, somehow I allowed this to not look that way. Here, here, nope, I don't know. Maybe I tossed something on top of it, so we'll have to experiment with that and see. Uh, but we're gonna use this cut sandstone there, and then we're gonna toss on some of you guys, like that. I'm gonna leave a little gap over here that we can work through. And we're actually going to be using this as kind of the pipe in the center of the windmill. And so that's gonna resemble our piping and tubing. If I can land it there. No, can't, there it goes. Okay, let's chop this down here and get rid of you there. And we're gonna surround that with some fence. Sweet. Let's toss in another row of fence. Like that. And from there, let's add some more fence up top on these guys. 
and we're gonna build a little roof right here. Let's use some of this acacia. Okay, we went and grabbed some more scaffolding and we just went ahead and created the outline here so that we can have some places to work. So, and I changed out these inner walls for these uh, sandstone walls because it allows this to look kind of nicer when it, and it connects in there. So it's it's kind of cool. It adds a little bit of extra little uh, divot on the, or not divot, uh, just protrusion on the top there. So we're gonna use that there instead. And then I'm gonna toss these guys up here like that. There we go, make these too high all the way around. Too high from the sandstone anyway. And even with that, and then we're going to toss down some of this. And I think I need some more acacia, actually. Do I have any more acacia? Oh, no. I might be out of acacia wood. Let's go check the wood box. Surely we have some acacia. There's some acacia. Okay, hopefully we can get... Um, I don't know if we can get any stairs out of this, actually. It's not going to be enough. One set of stairs. Maybe that'll be enough for this lower rung here. Okay, so we're going to do this. Real awkward-like. And toss you here. And let's see if I can put here. Oh, not upside down. Don't want that. Here we go. Can I lay it right? There we go. We're going to go all the way around. Actually, what might help is if we do this inner row of sandstone. Come on now. Stop clicking in the wrong spots. Doesn't like that, does it? I'm stuck. I'm all kinds of stuck. Okay, there we go. So let's put these here, and then we can give ourselves a base to work with. There we go. That's much nicer. Okay. We'll do that then. Here and there. This side over here, there, and last one here. Does that cover all that? I think so. Perfect. Okay, so let's bring this up a little bit more. And we will add in, like this, another layer there. Bring these walls up for some support. And I think, let's see, am I going to come out this side with the water? So I might leave this one off there for now. Might have to add that in in a little bit. But that should give an opening here. And we can actually go ahead and put that. So I've worked on a couple different variations of this piping. Trying to make it look a little nicer. And I discovered that these guys right over here, the grindstones, look pretty neat in that regard. So we're going to use that grindstone. I'm going to have to toss down a uh, fake block somewhere let's see it has to be found to be right here so let's just throw down some sands oh i can use sand if it'll land on the stairs will it it will okay and then i can put nope one more in like that and then i think the grindstone goes here but that won't work because it'll kick that grindstone off after i break this block all right we needed another block that we're going to keep there and that was going to be one of these light end rods so let's drop you in that box and this should look right now we're going to go here we're going to put you right there there let's see end rod has to be on this one like so and then we can go here nope one more over one more over we could do one more end rod there, and then that guy. And I think that is the design that I ended up liking. Yeah, so it kind of looks like there's a pump situation happening here. And I know it doesn't completely connect, but you can't see it from down here. So it's just aesthetic. But just a little bit of a gap right there in between those two blocks. And not a big deal, but it is there nonetheless. So we can actually hop up here. How do I there? And I think maybe one more to get up to the topper, the topper, <laughs> the top levels or so. Okay, so we've got two of these, and we're gonna go ahead and put some of our fence, perch fence, all along this right here. There we go. 
Coming off this side, too. I'm gonna fill in these gaps. Excuse you. You don't- you don't belong there. You go here, like that. There we go, and we're gonna leave that side open, obviously, so the end rod comes out. So the idea is that it's pumping water coming up, and that's- I mean, I know it's glowing, but it's the only thing I can get going this direction, and it kind of looks like it would be dripping with water. And then we're gonna have that pour off to the side into a big, um, water tower right here. Big old water tower right here that's going to feed, not feed, but water our entire crops and everything down there. So that's what this is going to be. So let's go ahead and for decoration purposes, do I have any? I do not, but maybe scaffolding will look okay. Let's add this down here in the bottom. Yeah, just some little decoration making it look like, you know, that's going down there. That'll look nice. Okay, continuing on at the top up here, we're going to go ahead and add in another layer of acacia. Oh, we don't have enough. One, two. So, yep, I'm definitely going to need some more acacia wood. So let's take a break and go find some more acacia wood. I don't know if I have any in my storage downstairs. I doubt I do. Ouch, take a little damage there. Okay, we got that second layer of roofing on there, just a little cover area and then when they had to sleep because the mobs are coming out like crazy so we've got this here we're going to go and use some cut sandstone and we're just going to build up a pillar i believe i had it three tall one two three i'm not entirely sure i don't remember but we'll have to toy around with it and see and then i had some of these down here for design like so like that and this is the area where the windmill is going to be and so let's hop up here. I wanted to face this direction so that everybody kind of sees it. So we're going to come out and I just used some birch. Uh, I can't see it very well. I know it doesn't look perfect, but we're going to make it look good. It's going to look fine. It's going to look fine, everybody. Excuse that. Sorry about that there. Oh, I'm going to fall everywhere. Can't climb. Scaffolding. Here we go. Add those guys on, and then we're going to come out front here. We need to take care of some of this. There we go. And let's go ahead and add in a log. Do we have any logs? I think a log would look nicer. Hopefully that's enough. Pretty close. Boop. All right, we'll toss that there. That should look okay. I think that'll look all right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's use, I'm going to change colors a little bit and use some oak, just for contrast. And we're going to come out each side. You, 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 and you. Now let's go ahead and use some, I think I want to keep with that stripped birch. Hmm, maybe some oak wood. Just got a few oak planks. I really like the stripped look. So let's go find some more stripped oak and see how that turns out. Okay, we ran downstairs and grabbed the rest of our strip, stripped oak. So let's just see how this is going to look. I think I want to go straight out from each side if I can. Get the grain right. I wish you could turn those. I really do. It would be nice. Um. All right, there. So that's one, two, one, two, and there. Oop. Ooh, landed it. Okay, and here, one. Don't know what to do about that. We'll just break it. There. Okay, let's take a look at that over here. Damage on that somehow. All right, so we've got that looks okay. Now let's grab our fan blades. We're gonna use the acacia. Even though they're kind of wispy. It'll look fine. I think I have to put them on from this side. Yes, so like that. Ouch. Okay, climb back up here. And these need to be on the top part. Let's get rid of that there. And we'll go here, here, like that. Let's walk all the way around. 
Need to go on this side. Can I do the slide? I don't want to fall through stuff here. There. Oh, not there. There, like that. Come here, you. I need that last one there. And then on this side as well. So let's go ahead and climb up this just a little bit. See if we can't get over in there. That should help. Ah! <laughs> get over there. Okay. Here. And there we go. No, I didn't need that there. I missed one. What am I doing? Come back here. Can I catch them both? Yeah. We need to go on that up there. Okay. We're going to toss these underneath here. Like so. So glancing at that, that kind of gives a nice little fan effect. It gives us a pretty good idea. Yeah, I think that works. I wish there were some thinner blocks that would still connect this cor correctly. Okay, let's add a few more of the small little touches to things. That includes these little buttons here. Let's toss this over here just in case we do need it in a second. I'm going to toss some of those on and some spruce trap doors. I think I want to use oak. Yeah, not spruce for this particular one. So let's climb up here. I've got some buttons that I wanted to toss around. I wish there was a metal rod <laughs> that could come straight through this way. So I might end up replacing that with something else later on, maybe in a full block or something. But right now, this is going to work. So we've got that there. Let's put the acacia buttons along here. And I don't have nearly enough because I actually want to put them on all sides of it just to kind of give a little bit more detail as well. And so we're going to go ahead and add on, I think I could do it down here. Let's see how this is going to look. If I do, oh, hello. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some more of these guys then. And we will add you, whoa, that was weird. Glitching out there for a second. Like that. I don't think I need any of these. And these. So that should be good there. It could look nice with some little oak buttons coming through. Do I have any oak still on me? There, let's add some oak buttons. One, two, three, four. We'll do five, just for good measure. And there. Yeah, that adds a little bit of something. Okay, let's climb up here and do these guys and see how they will look. Can I climb up there? Thank you. Whoops. Toss you. That'll work. It doesn't matter what way it closes. I just need it to be on there. We can climb over here. Like that. And where am I? Right here. Let's toss you on the edge there. Got one on the bottom already. Need one on the top. And one on this side should finish it up. Let's go take a look at this. Okay, yeah, I think that's coming along nicely. I like that. Definitely could use a couple more of these buttons, maybe. And we need like a... Um, does it need to have a tail? I don't think this particular type of windmill would need a tail. And we might end up making that one, one larger. We can come out one block of each of that and add a little bit bigger fans if we wanted to. And yeah, I think that's kind of what I had in mind. So let's go ahead, finish up those there. That's looking okay. Let's get rid of these guys so we can have a better look at it. There, there. These things are probably gonna be stuck all over the top, but, <laughs> but that's okay, we'll figure it out. That's looking pretty nice. Yeah, those fan blades do look a little small, so maybe we can enlarge those one uh, at a later time. But that's the right idea. So now for this, for the next part of the build, and let's go grab these real fast before they despawn and we lose them anymore over here. There's some more. Don't need to waste our resources. So we're going to come off of this area and go right into a trough. Basically, is it a trough? I don't know what to call it. So we're going to need some kind of, let's do oak, maybe a little bit darker. 
Um, might look a little bit better with a stronger base. So some cut here. There, 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 there. And let's use, yeah, I think it'll look a little bit better. A little stronger looking there. Okay, and let's move this out a little bit. Nothing too complicated with this guy. We're just going to build it up like that. And then we're going to basically use those other trap doors. These spruce guys. Let's get rid of the button. Don't need that. We'll need tons of these though. All around the sides. I just love Minecraft mornings. They're so peaceful. All right, let's go and finish this up here. Yeah, let's go ahead and change these out for the oak. Like that. So it looks a little nicer. And then we can build this up too. Like that maybe. Or we can build it similar to what we did in there. Uh, I think that might be good enough. Ouch. Watch out for the cactus. I think that might be good enough. Okay, so this guy's spinning around. He's pumping up some water. Yay, the water's coming through and it's filling up into our... Uh, water tower here and that water tower is looking pretty sweet oh yeah I'm liking that water tower so from this water tower we can now basically water our crops and so we can have a pipe coming in over here and going down this direction I did want to do a really neat little water trough thing that I'd kind of designed and so we'll have to work on that next time maybe after I figure out how I want to get it over to that stuff so We'll do that on another time, but I think that wraps it up, guys. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at this from a different perspective, and then we will call that quits for the day. And we got stuff flying out everywhere. Let's get all these out. There should be some in here. Uh, can I grab them? There you go. I heard it. Grabbed them. Okay. Let's take a step back and look at this. <laughs> that cactus gets me every time. Okay. That's looking pretty nice. I like that. Yeah, I wish you can do a lighter color of spruce on these and but it's that's a really neat neat trap door. I like that a lot. Okay So that's it guys check that out. Thank you so much for for watching this video. I really appreciate it Thanks for joining me on this adventure. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel Check out the other adults play Minecraft members 
And guys, we'll see you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.